Hi everybody, I'm Robert. This is Backyard Body Works. We've had a little snow <clears throat> over the last couple of days and it's finally starting to melt so I'm coming out and having a look to see what I can get done. I'm hoping that I can get one of the trusses, um, put the furring pieces on it so I can put plywood on it and put it up here today. I'm not going to put it up today, but I'm going to try and get it done. So stick around. Now what I've done is I've cleaned everything off. Now there's no more, uh, no more snow on the uh, floor. And what I've done is uh, I've set up my truss the side that I'm going to work on. Notice this mark here? Okay, that's the same mark that I've put on all of them right over there. And what that tells me is all the, that line goes all on one side, either this side or this side. You don't want to mix and match them because <clears throat> these things are made in a frame or a jig and the way that they're stacked is the way they came off the jig. So I've marked them so that I know which side goes so that they all will point to the same direction and we won't have any problems with any strange anomalies or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, cut the furring pieces which go on the end. This is gonna be the end truss, which is gonna either gonna go up there or up here. And I'll put a two by four up and I'll place the truss up there against that and I'll attach it. And then we'll just go down 24 on center until we get to here, which I will have another two by four here to attach the other end piece to. And I'll probably do the two end pieces at the same time. But this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and cut the the furring pieces. And what the furring pieces do is it allows me to attach the, the plywood to the face of this, you know, without having a, a stud. It's, it's basically, you know, this kit has a, a furring piece, you know, it pretty much outlines the truss and then you in between the the pieces on 16 on center you put your uh, your furring pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that so stick with us wanted to stop a minute and show you what I was doing I'm using what's called a speed square um, and what it does is it helps me to find the angle of what the truss is and the way I do that is right here is a little notch and it's called the pivot point so there's your pivot point there's your scribe line line it up and you move your angle and what you're gonna do it's hard to do this with two with one hand holding the camera when Christmas gets here. I got a lot of stuff on my list. Okay. Make sure that's correct. Make sure I'm telling you guys which line to use, otherwise I'll be telling you wrong. Okay, I'm lining up on my angle. It's easy, it's so much easier just to do it than it is to try and explain it. Alright, that works. Alright. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on my pivot line. I guess I could have shown you up there, but it's a lot easier to stick here, I guess. You're going to pivot, and you're looking at these numbers right here. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and all the way up to 30 which I'm assuming is the, I don't know if that's the degree or if that's the, the ratio. 
but these right here these number these are all your degrees along this side so it's easier for me to tell you that but what I do is I line it up and it says it's on the number four which I'm assuming it's a four foot roof you know four foot pinnacle with the 12 foot so it's four to one or four to twelve on the rise and run of the um, the roof and so I've put my pivot point there I marked my I've got my four now now that I've got my lines set up, I take my pencil. Ah, hold on just a second. Let's do it this way. Hope you guys can see that. Take my pivot line, mark my four, and then scribe my line. Okay, and what that does is that gives me the angle of the cut that I need to make it fit in right here in this spot where I've got it marked for the uh, for the fairing for the the stud the fairing stud or the referring stud, which the edge of it will go here, which is four inches. And I cut it on my four inch line here, so that when it fits in, it should fit in really nice and snug right in through here. Maybe a little off, maybe a little bit snug. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But this cut here, well, then I'll measure the next one. I'll use this cut, to, and I'll cut a straight line, and then I'll measure another angle, cut that angle. And that way, I don't lose any wood and don't have any scrap. So keep watching, and hope you're enjoying this. All right, guys. Here we have the completed furring. That, uh, to attach the plywood, the you know the outside plywood to. I've got the uh, the furring studs there, um, and this one will leave, this one will go on this end, and we're going to work our way this way to this side. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it up today or not, because I don't have anybody to help, and I am not climbing on a ladder by myself. For those of you that don't know, that scar right there uh, last year I fell off a ladder and broke my arm nice scar right there yay so I'm a little bit more cautious when doing projects like this and since there's nobody here to help me I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna probably gonna do the other uh, the other side of the roof and then I'll call it a day all right if you guys want to stick around uh, keep watching we'll do one more and then we'll be done all right that's going to be the the second one done. Um, I'm going to call it quits for today because I'm starting to lose the light, and uh, I don't want to. You know, I got body helpers here, but we're going to. It's going to rain tomorrow, so I need to cover everything up before it gets dark. So, uh, thanks for watching, and continue to like and subscribe below, and you know we'll keep producing these things as long as you guys keep watching. Y'all have a great day. Oh, 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 oh